Hi, I'm Jack. And I'm Lil. And we're your resident LARPers. So we've been LARPing for a couple of years, and sometimes I think I like the idea of LARP more than LARPing itself. I love creating character, trolling for hours on the internet, finding bargains for costumes, and we kind of wanted to show off our latest characters. Yeah. And it's something that we're both really proud of. Um, we're a, we're a <laughs> LARP duo, a LARP couple. Um, and our characters are from the same city in the same area um, and that we created within the world that already exists. So mm. uh, there were no real rules, except we can't be too important. We yes. can't be important. Or at least we can't go into the game starting important. Yeah, I like to think we were, we're we belong to a micro kingdom. Yeah, important in <laughs> our city, but not to anyone we else. We step out, out there, and everyone's like, "Who are you?" We wanted to make sure that when we walked into camp. We were really recognisable as two elves from the exact same place and people would know our names. Yeah, I think it helps. I always think it helps to have an iconic coat as a character. Um, something that you know people can pick you out from mm. a crowd, which means you can't do anything that's sneaky or dodgy because people will recognise you. I got this hat um, last event because it was really sunny and I wanted to keep the sun off my head and then it got really cold and it kept my head really warm. Uh, but it was just 15 pounds. It's originally from Wish, I think, but I bought it off a trader. And I kept getting people going, oh, I don't want to be rude. I don't know if this is um, controversial or rude or not, but are you a wizard? <laughs> like, I don't know how to reply to that after you framed it. It's, it, it depends. Are you going to stab me for yeah. being one? Like, <laughs> why would you say that unless there's going to be consequences? Like, yeah. God. But now I'm, I'm a hat convertee. I've yeah. been converted to the hat life. I really rate. I think everyone should wear an iconic hat at LARP. And there's so Sorry, many so things you want an iconic coat. You want an iconic hat. I just want to be iconic, okay? <laughs> what can I say? So I get called at LARP all the time. I think gloves are a must. I found someone on Facebook who was selling handmade wool blend gloves. And these have literally saved me at many LARPs in the cold. Keeps my hands toasty warm and the fingerless so I can actually pick things up. Mm. A lot of people know this already, but just for anyone out there who doesn't, your heat is uh, pushed out into the world through your extremities, so your feet and your hands. And if you don't keep those warm, no matter how much you wrap up in your center, you're going to be cold. So a pair of gloves really goes a long way. Here are our spears. They're stab safe stuffs. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. They are, yep, stab safe. They are about seven foot tall, so they're quite tall for me. I'm only 5'3". Um, <laughs> it's quite terrifying seeing me wield one of these. Um, I've killed a lot with this. It's pretty great. Yeah, uh, a spear is highly recommended going into the field. Not every player the first time at LARP can get something as quality as this, but if you can, um, like say borrow from a friend, it's one of the most effective ways to start fighting and um, continue fighting yeah, without well, dying. It keeps people away from you exactly. and I get really scared in battles so as long as they're staying seven feet away from me I'm happy. Uh, these are made by the brilliant Andy Rumor. He makes beautiful things and we commissioned these so that we would have matching ones that also match with our costume and I am so happy with these. Yeah, they've turned out really well. Yeah, another iconic thing honestly. Yeah. 